Hey there everyone, it's Steve again. And uh, I'm looking here at a plan that was posted by Mr. Ducks. And I'm just using it to show a few things that I think could help people. The first thing I wanna focus on here today is the painted wall here in the kitchen. And I wondered why he did this. I thought, well, maybe they wanted siding inside the house, but I don't think that's the case. What I figured out is over here on the chimney, on the back side here, this wall here and this wall here are the same. And he probably wanted siding on the back side of this chimney. And uh, I don't think the painting the wall is the way to go. I mean, for a quick view or something, I can see people doing it. But if you open this wall and look at the wall type definition here, uh, <clears throat> it's, you know, it's got siding on the outside and drywall on the inside. And so you know he's painted it. So if you go here to the Materials tab, Interior Drywall Surface, select on this and select the Library Materials tab and select Use Default Material, it'll revert back to drywall, the, the original wall definition. Of course, over here, now you have drywall on the back side of his chimney, which he doesn't want. So I kind of understand what he was doing there. So how are we going to fix that? Well. The first thing to do is to understand that what he did here is he just created a single a singular room for the chimney and made it tall, 168 inches. And uh, that's part of the problem. So we're gonna default that back to the standard elevation. And if you look now, his chimney will, um, it's, it's back uh, to normal height. So, we need, a, we need a top part to this chimney, so how are we gonna do that? Well, he's got a first floor and he's got an attic. And you really can't build the room on the attic and we'll just prove it to you here. We'll copy these three walls, go up to the attic level, use paste and hold position, paste those, and then draw this wall here over. And it gives us this, you create an object on the attic floor, blah, blah, blah. And it tells you to build a new floor because if you click inside here, like I'm doing right now, you, you can't get a room definition. So that's part of the problem. That, that probably is the problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a new floor. And uh, we're just going to make a blank floor for the second floor. Accept the defaults. Go back down, copy these three walls. Command C or Control C, go up, Control Alt V, paste and hold position, drag this across, then use this align wall alignment tool here and align with the wall below. Then click inside here and now you see we have a room. And I'm gonna lower this to say 72 inches. And we can take a look at it here. And you can see we got our chimney. And we got siding on the back side. And when you look at the floor overview, we have drywall inside. And so that's fixed. Now the cricket is way up here. That's because I inserted the floor. And one thing while I got this here is I'm gonna take the gutters off. No need for gutters on the cricket. And then I'm going to use transform replicate and lower it like 108 inches maybe. Oops, minus 108. And yeah, it's pretty good. Might not be perfect, but you know what I'm doing there. You can just adjust it till it's perfect. And uh, that fixes that. So the key to that is um, building a new floor. And uh, Scott Hall taught us all that. And basically, you're smart to probably always have a second floor or a third floor, whatever you need, so that you're not building on the attic and... Um, because the attic, well, the attic level uh, won't let you really do anything. So, I uh, hope that helps there. The other thing I wanted to talk about, and of course, these windows are up here also because I created that floor. They moved them up. We'll just drag them back. The other thing I wanted to talk about was this railing wall. And of course, because of the wall type you used to create this railing wall, you have drywall down here covering the edge of your concrete, which just doesn't look realistic. So, and there's a couple other things. The beam is just four inches, which I don't think he really meant that to be. The columns are eight inches. So 
The first thing you need to do here is to change this wall from interior 4-2 or whatever it is, which has drywall inside and out. I would copy this and call it porch rail wall four or whatever you want to call it and uh, delete the drywall here delete the drywall here make this four and we'll take a look and that immediately takes the drywall off there so it looks a little more realistic now the the, the biggest problem really is that these eight inch columns are hanging over the edge of the concrete which doesn't look realistic and the quickest way to fix that is just to take this porch railing wall and change the thickness since the columns are eight let's make this 10 you'll get a warning just ignore it and it'll move the columns to the center of the wall which will move it back from the face of that concrete and um, it looks a little more realistic that way and the other thing I wanted to address was this beam he's left it it looks like at just the default so if you go to the rails tab and you click here and you get the beam default rail I would make this 12 inches tall and probably nine and a quarter wide and let it hang over be wider than the columns I just think it looks a little more natural of course that's up to you and uh, that's working with the porch railings so I hope those two little tips help and we'll see you soon